Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about ultrasound appearances of pleural effusion. On the left we have a normal image showing the lung. On the right side, this is the liver. This bright line is the diaphragm. The hyperechoic line. This is the air-filled lung. We see mixed echoes above the diaphragm. This is the air-filled lung. We actually see a mirror artifact. A mirror image of the liver is seen above the diaphragm. It is not very clear, but this is how a mirror image artifact is seen. It is more pronounced on the right side. On the left side, it is not as clearly seen because of the spleen. The spleen's mirror artifact is less clear as compared to the liver. The mirror image artifact occurs when the ultrasound waves encounter the diaphragm, which is a strong reflector due to acoustic impedance difference between the liver and the lung. The liver is a solid organ, but the lung is an air-filled organ. The ultrasound waves are easily reflected from the liver back to the transducer and also easily reflect from the diaphragm. But at the interface between the liver and lung, there is a strong acoustic impedance mismatch. This makes the ultrasound waves bounce back and forth between the liver and the diaphragm and they are unable to reach the transducer or they reach the transducer late. So when these echoes reach the transducer late, the ultrasound system thinks that they are coming from a deeper location. That is why these echoes are seen deeper or at the lower half of the image. Hence, they appear in the lung field. They appear as mirror artifacts, a mirrored image of the liver or spleen on the left side. This is how a normal lung will appear on ultrasound. In cases of pleural effusion, when there is an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the pleural cavity, we will normally see anechoic fluid above the diaphragm. If the fluid is clear, we will simply see a jet black area above the diaphragm and anechoic area. This type of appearance will indicate a pleural effusion. The mirror artifact will not be seen. There is absence of a mirror image of the liver or spleen. In some cases of pleural effusion, you may see medium level echoes or hyperechoic areas inside the pleural cavity or inside the pleural effusion. There is hypoechoic fluid above the diaphragm and also medium level and hyperechoic areas. These echoes may indicate blood, pus, debris, cancer cells or fibrin strands. This area has a heterogeneous appearance. This is another case of pleural effusion. Hypoechoic fluid is present in this case. And here is part of the lung. A part of the lung can also be visible inside the pleural cavity. And there is absence of mirror artifacts above the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. And this is the pleural effusion. There are some specific sonographic signs indicating pleural effusion. The first one is a thoracic spine sign. Normally, we will not see the thoracic spine above the level of the diaphragm. This hyperechoic area in the normal image is the thoracic spine and you cannot see any thoracic spine above the diaphragm. We can only see air-filled lung. In the image on the right is a case of pleural effusion. 
and you can see a continuous hyperechoic structure, a curvilinear hyperechoic structure above the diaphragm as well as below the diaphragm. This is the thoracic spine. It is more clearly seen in cases of pleural effusion because the pleural fluid acts as an acoustic window. The ultrasound waves easily pass through the fluid. That is why the thoracic spine is visible. So this is the thoracic spine sign. This is another image showing the thoracic spine sign. The thoracic spine is visible above the diaphragm, slightly above the diaphragm, whereas in the normal image it is not seen above the diaphragm at this region. The thoracic spine is not seen over here. The pleural effusion is less severe as compared to the previous image, which is why the thoracic spine sign is less pronounced. This is the appearance of a normal lung seen between the ribs. The normal lung has a bat wing sign. The wings of the bat are formed by the rib shadows. These are the ribs and these are their acoustic shadows. The lung is present between these two ribs. This bright line is the pleural line. This horizontal line between the ribs is called the pleural line. This is considered the body of the bat. It represents the interface between the chest wall and the air-filled lung. Down here is the air-filled lung. In normal cases, this line should be smooth and move with breathing. In the image on the right, Pleural effusion is present. Quartz sign is a feature seen in pleural effusion. This anechoic area is the pleural fluid. This region creates a rectangular or quadrangular shape when seen on ultrasound. The quartz sign consists of four distinct lines or borders, starting with the parietal pleura the chest wall. This is the parietal pleura at the anterior aspect and down here is the visceral pleura which lines the lung. The third region is the pleural effusion, the anechoic pleural effusion and the fourth element is the rib shadows on both sides above and below the effusion. So these are in total four elements which constitute the quartz sign. So this entire appearance indicates a pleural effusion. These are images showing the M mode appearances. On the left we have the M mode of a normal lung. The normal lung's M mode gives a seashore sign. This upper half of the M mode consists of straight horizontal lines which constitutes waves or the C. This hyperechoic bright line is the pleural line. This is the pleura. And the lower grainy part of the M mode is the lung. It has a granular sandy appearance which resembles the shore or the beach. So the upper half looks like the waves, the water, and the lower half looks like sand. So this entire appearance on M mode is called the seashore sign. In cases of pleural effusion on M mode, we will see a sinusoid sign. On the M mode, a wavy or sinusoidal motion of the visceral pleura is seen as the lung expands and collapses with respiration. So you will see this wave on the M mode of a lung with pleural effusion. This sign is helpful in diagnosing pleural effusion on ultrasound. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.